Part 15. We are going to continue with volume. You will find this on page 270 in the Namibia Mathematics Grade 8 textbook Y equals MX plus C to success. Let's look at example 26. A cuboid has a volume of 120 cubic centimeters. The length is 6 centimeters and the breadth 4. Find its height. So again, I'm giving you the volume and I want a side. So just start again with the formula. Write it down. Then do substitution. The volume, the length, the breadth, and I'm looking for the height. And now it's an equation. And I just solved the equation. So I can multiply this to get 24. And now, to get h alone, I divide this side by 24. And I divide this side by 24. And then I will get that the value of h will be 5. And I can end with a sentence. Okay. I want you to do try now 26. Uh, stop the video, and as soon as you are finished, you can continue with the video. Try now 26. So the volume of a cuboid is 162 cubic meters. The breadth is 6, and the height is 3. Find the length. Always start with the for formula. So the volume of a cuboid, and remember, what's the volume? It's length times breadth times height. And now just substitute. The volume is 162. The breadth is 6 and the height oh, I don't have. So the breadth is 6 and the height is 3. Now you can first, you can calculate by saying 6 times 3, that will be 18. And put the L at the back. Sometimes it's easier to see then. Oh, this is just an equation. This is my unknown. To get my unknown 1L, I just divide by 18. And I just divide by 18. And if I divide by 18, I will get that the value of L is 9. And I can just end by saying the length, um, the length of a cuboid is 9 centimeters. Okay. So basically, that was number 26. Let's go on with number twen example 27. Find the length of a side of a cube with the volume. And now remember, you can always highlight that or underline. It's a cube now with a volume of this. Now, remember, the volume of a cube is s to the power of 3. But can you remember from the previous chapters, what is the reverse of cube? It is cube root. So I will, to get s alone, I will just take the cube root. And that will give me a value of 5. So the length of a side of a cube is 5. Okay. Again. I want you to do for me, let's just clean this. I want you to do for me try now 27. You can again stop the video, and as soon as you are finished, you can continue with the video. Okay, let's start. The find the length of a side of a cube with a volume of this. So again, volume of a cube. What is the volume of a cube? It's just s to the power of 3. So I fill in the volume, 64. And that's s to the power of 3. We said previously that the reverse operation of cube is cube root. So to get s, I take the cube root of 64. And what will be the cube root of 64? You can press it on your calculator, and that will be 4. So we can just end and say the length of a side of a cube is 4, and this was in centimeters. Okay, let's look at the final one. Example 28. A rectangular block of metal measure 38 by 18 by 52. Length, breadth, height. Find the volume of the block. So that was easy, just length times breadth times height. Then the cube Oh, this is a bit challenging. The cube is melted to form cubes of length 2 centimeters. How many cubes can be obtained? Remember that same metal is melt. So first, remember that the volume of this small cubes will be 2 times 2 times 2, which is 8. And then I just take that big volume of that metal and I divide it by 8. And I will get 4, 4, 4, 6 small cubes. Okay. I want you... Let's just move. The final one I want you to do, I want you to do try now 28 and again A as well as B. 
You can again stop the video, and as soon as you are finished, you can continue with the video. Okay, so again, a rectang uh, rectangular block of copper, copper is 9 by 7 by 6. Find the volume, so that is a cuboid. So the volume of this cuboid, remember, that's length times breadth times height. So that will give me 9 times 7 times 6. And that will just give me 3, 7, 8 cubic centimeters. Okay, now, if the copper block is melted and, and recast to form smaller cuboids, it's smaller cuboids, not cubes, cuboids with dimensions 2 by 3 by 3. How many smaller cuboids can be obtained? So if I want to start with number B, I must first get the... You can even say smaller, the volume of the smaller cuboid or cuboids. It's again length times breadth times height. But now it will be 2 times 3 times 3, and that will give me 18 cubic centimeter. And now to find that number of small cuboids, I can just go and say, okay, I take this big volume and I divide it by this 18. And if I do that, I will get 21. So I can just say the number of small cuboids will be 21. So they can form 21 small cuboids.